Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. As I press the power button on this enthusiast class gaming PC with a Core i7 and GTX 680 and a boot SSD, I want to take you guys along with me on a little voyage of discovery about how I personally think, and this is me, just me, Windows 8 is going to seriously alter the way that, look at that, it's booted up already. Everyone uses their PCs, even enthusiasts. <laughs> Now everyone's talking about new tablets for Windows 8 and notebooks with touch screens and all-in-one PCs for Windows 8, but I personally, you know, for me personally, I'm not going to be buying a new device to run Windows 8, a completely new computer. I would like the option to just buy a monitor that has edge-to-edge -edge glass, a beautiful IPS panel, full HD resolution, 10-point multi-touch, and I think we're looking at that right in front of us. So this gorgeous Acer monitor is what is going to bridge the gap for me between these totally consumer sort of prepackaged devices and the ability to use Windows 8 on a truly enthusiast class desktop PC in a way that enhances the previous experience we had with Windows 7. Now the overall design of the monitor is very beautiful, like I said, edge to edge glass, so all of your gestures are going to be registered correctly. It's got the full range of inputs and it's got a very unique stand that you can also remove and mount via a VESA mount to whatever kind of mounting arm you want. Now the ability to use both a mouse and keyboard and a touchscreen interface is really a new paradigm that enables completely different ways that you can interact with your computer. So number one is you've got your traditional touchscreen. So you can use the not metro interface to access whatever your frequently used applications are. Now I don't know about you guys, but I'm personally down to probably about uh, maybe 10 to 15 apps that I actually regularly use on my computer. And there's no reason that I couldn't arrange them here and move them around you know, wherever I think is most convenient, in a way that if you've used a smartphone or a tablet in the last couple of years, you're probably already used to for the most part. And there are some improvements that have been made to Windows 8 that I personally really like. I no longer have to click on the Start menu or press the Start button to start searching for something. So if I want to get to the Control Panel, I just type Control and it's the first result, and I'm looking at it. Windows also, the Windows button also switches between the Desktop mode, which can still be used, although it does lack the Start menu, and the not metro, oops, I'm hitting the wrong button here, and the not metro interface, which you can use in a completely different way. Now, maybe you're, this is, you know, I don't know where this computer is, but maybe for whatever reason, it's more convenient for you to click on here. You want to see some news articles or whatever else, okay, Britain's Prince Harry, something or other, you load up some article. This is pretty cool. So you want to share this with someone. On a desktop, you would traditionally, without the Windows 8 interface, have to go, you know, copy the link, go to your email browser. No, you just click share. It's got the people. See, we've done a couple shots, a couple takes of this shot. So I'm going to email yet another article to my sure to be confused wife. This is another article I'm sending you. Look how much faster it is now that I can use a keyboard to actually do my editing and I can use Windows 8 with this tablet -y like interface to way more quickly share the interesting things that I'm looking at. So basically it comes down to the individual user, whether that looks like something that would appeal to you or whether it does not. The reality of it is those of us who are old school are always probably going to be more efficient with a keyboard and mouse than we are with a touchscreen interface. However, this is a very amusing anecdote, 100% true story. I was at the dentist not that long ago and I was watching, uh, I was watching a little girl, she, was about, she must have been about three, and they had magazines on the table in the middle and she picked up one of the magazines and was trying to scroll it. <laughs> so, so she had actually only, I mean, this is my interpretation, she had probably only ever actually read on a tablet device where you, you touch it to interface with it and she was confused by the concept of something that doesn't work that way. So yeah, Slick's got like his, hand, his, his hands on his face like this right now, but the reality of it is us, you know, keyboard mouse warriors are probably going to be dinosaurs at some point. So this is the future and uh, you know we can try it and see if we like it or we can decide we totally don't like it but I think if nothing else it is a new and interesting way to interact with our PCs and it comes down to everyone to decide whether it's right for them. Thanks for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe.